Hey, how you going? Anthony here. Hey, I just wanted to very quickly sort of start to go through about creating a membership site. So now what we've we've actually got is uh, we've we've already predefined or pre-set up a members area, and I just wanted to go through and show as we start to add a button. Now I've actually found a um, hour and a half long webinar uh, video, and I've been painstakingly going through that and sort of coming back and step through. So I'm just trying to break it down into some small steps. So let, let's just very quickly, we'll come back in, because I want to add a, a login registration button up into my page here. Now what we've learned so far is that we can simply add a, add a new button here. So we're going to add a button, okay. What type of button? Now you can see up in here we've got a login button. Now I'm going to do it two ways, but I, I want this one that's nice, neat and tidy. All right, so we'll add that button by clicking there. Now I can get different colours as well, okay, so if we just, because I just wanted this one to be dark, because I'm, okay, so that's good. Now we also get to see where, what the action is after the login, so we want to set that action, okay, and we're going to take it to a particular page, well for us here we're going to take it to this page. So I'm going to take it across to the first page of my membership site. Okay, and yes, it will keep him open in the same tab, so I'll OK that. Now, the other thing that that did do, and I'll just show you very quickly for the video, is we're actually able to add a different type of button. So, in fact, um, right, so... Let me add this one just for the minute and for simplicity. All right, so all right now it's the same thing. So it's going to have the action. Okay, we're going to go to a page. Now select our page again. Okay, that so so that's the two different ways of doing the button. So I'm going to delete that one for now. Well, Okay, so let's have a very quick look now at the members area and how we want to restrict that. Okay, so up here, if we're creating these new layouts, you'll see that this is a members area. And if I click that, it's changing here. Okay, so it, it it's now isn't, now is. Yeah, now I'll just move across to this other tab see here we've actually not restrict uh, sorry we are restricted all right so I'm going to come back here for a minute I'm just going to unrestrict this I'm going to save that for now just to show you we'll save that okay so let's go back across here. Now, um, sorry about that, my, my browser's in the way. Um, just go back. That's the one I wanted. Okay, so, so here I haven't got it restricted. Okay, so now if I, where are we, members, now I'll tick that, okay, and I'll save that, and then we'll come back across to, whoops, where do I actually do that there, Anthony? Okay, so now now if we go into here and we refresh that browser, we've got we've created our restricted members area. Okay, so it needs to come along now. I'll sort of do this video and tidy up this a bit later on. So that's really about how we've created our button.
um, restricted the area that we want. Yeah, and next we'll um, have a look at signing up and getting emails working. All right, thanks for that one. We'll talk to you on the next one. Bye for now.